my name is Mary Kate Hafner. This is my video on the professional dispositions survey um, for my Master's of School Counseling program. The purpose of this video is to reflect on the professional dispositions of an educator, identify strengths and weaknesses, um, create a plan for professional growth, and discuss the implications of an educator that can connect to students across cultural um, differences and gender differences and societal differences, that kind of thing. Um, so to start off, what qualities or behaviors uh, are indica indicative of a professional school counselor? Um, I picked a couple that I think are the most important for a professional school counselor. Um, first and foremost, they should be sensitive to individual learning and social needs. Um, and then I think the role of a school counselor extends farther than being sensitive. I think it has to do with um, understanding those strengths um, and social needs and learning needs and then also training other educator professionals um, to do the same and to apply that understanding of those social needs to help the student succeed more. Um, like it's not enough just to understand, you need to go a step further as a counselor and help other people understand and then apply that understanding. I think it's also important for counselors to embrace the cultural diversity of the community. How does this look? I think it looks like asking students questions about their home life, traditions, values, family structures. I do this in my classroom right now. I have a, every day we do a question of the day and it's usually something that is not content um, that just helps me understand their perspectives on life um, and kind of get them to build that trust in community. Um, as a counselor, I can do this through home visits, individual counseling sessions, um, and maybe something like a, a lunch club or something like that where I'm getting other uh, educators involved in building that community and learning how to embrace the cultural diversity of the school community. The dispositions that I possess um, that will make me a successful school counselor are a strong sense of social justice and equality. I'm not afraid of difficult conversations with my students or learning from them about a culture or a tradition that I don't understand. I think it's really important to be listeners. Um, and I, again, just believe in teaching marginalized groups and really any group of uh, groups of students, like girls or uh, people of color or um, LGBTQ plus students, how to advocate for themselves and um, demand their rights and the respect in any setting. Um, I also have a strong sense of curiosity that I encourage in my students and I help them learn how to quench the curiosity for themselves. Um, I'm not the kind of teacher that says, oh, ask me that later when I really don't know the answer. I usually just Google it right then and there and just kind of model that ability to, um, ability to quench the curiosity. How do the dispositions demonstrate my ability to understand other cultures, genders, and learning differences to build stronger relationships with students and families? Um, you will know a teacher is able to understand other perspectives if they have the ability to empathize with students and families, um, if they are able to be genuine in their concern for students and families and exclude the judgment. You know, if you understand where someone else is coming from, you will exclude the judgmentalness that you might have where you disagree with their perspective. Um, so if you are genuine, that's evidence of you understanding other, other cultures and differences and how that impacts the community. Um, you'll be able to gain trust um, and some benefits of building relationship with students. Um, you're going to teach lifelong learners um, the skills that they need to be successful even far beyond where you have them right now. Social emotional skills. Um, so not just being lifelong learners, but how to be a part of a community and how to impact that community positively. You're gonna be able to teach them those skills. Um, also, this is vital, increased parent and student buy-in, uh, which contributes to the effort and involvement that parents and students have 
uh, which affects then overall success of the students. Personally, I need to work on self-reflection. Um, I'm able to reflect, but I don't often take the time to do it. Um, I also need to work on understanding the effect of community involvement. Um, sometimes I get into a mindset where I think these kids are just coming so broken and so tired and um, just stressed to school. And so I think, oh, their, their community is, is giving them that negative um, and is actually distracting from their learning and their success. Um, but when you involve the community and then empower com the community, it's going to create that ultimate systematic change that needs to happen that will help the students for more generations than the one we're seeing just now. So I need to kind of change my mindset about involving the community um, and I'm going to be working on Feedback that. is important in professional growth. Um, positive feedback can, for me, uh, help me be encouraged to continue those best practices and give me kind of a springboard from which I can grow uh, further. Constructive feedback, I like to make immediate changes. I don't like to wait around and say, oh, I'll fix that tomorrow or I'll fix that next week or next quarter. Um, I like to change if I need to change something immediately. Um, and then I like to focus my intentionality um, on that particular area of growth and then build goals off of that. Um, I'm currently, like I said, my weakness is self-reflection, so I'm currently working on how can I get better at that in a practical way. You know, some people journal every day for however long after school, but that's not really practical for me and my lifestyle, so just trying to figure out a goal of how I can incorporate that self-reflection in a practical way um, so that I continue that growth and gain that disposition of a professional counselor. So that is my summary of um, the professional dispositions of an educator, how they apply to me now and how they will apply to me as a school counselor. Uh, thanks so much for watching.